The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the latest MCU TV show that is on Disney Plus and was released in 2021. The story is a, basically a huge legacy story. It continues where Avengers Endgame left off. We settle in with Sam's new responsibilities, the continuation of his legacy, the continuation of the Captain America legacy. It's not really, there's no story to summarise really, but the only way I can summarise it is that it's a basic, you know, it's this massive continuation of the big legacy. I was very intrigued about The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Out of the two MCU TV shows we got so far between WandaVision and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was the one that appealed to me a lot more. Not to say I wasn't interested in WandaVision, I was curious and when I did see WandaVision, I wasn't really all that impressed. It's not a bad show by any means, but just not my cup of tea. Well made, well acted, great effects, just not my kind of show. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, however, is the complete opposite. I absolutely loved it. Let's start off with the story. The storyline was incredible. It did a phenomenal job continuing Avengers Endgame and really felt like a genuine continuation. It feels like a TV sequel. We see Sam settle into this new role, a new leadership, a new, you know, title. It's really interesting and engaging. The storyline was, you know, it was deep, it was mature, it was... It was a lot of fun. It was a really, really good story. It had incredible action sequences. The action scenes were phenomenal. The beginning of the first episode really made me hooked. I was like, yes, this is going to be a good show. And I was absolutely right. The action scenes alone were just phenomenal. However, I do feel we could have got a little more action. And to me, sometimes the episodes drag just a tiny, tiny bit. Not by much, I just felt there's a lot of character development and interactions, which is great. I just think we could have benefited from a little more action. Don't get me wrong, we have a lot of great action scenes. I just feel you could have used a little more action scenes here and there. But other than that, the storyline was excellent, it was engaging, it was interesting. Some moments genuinely had me, <gasps> you know, actually shocked because I didn't see it coming. It was, you know, it wasn't really that predictable to me. It was... Really, it was engaging. That's like, all I can say. It's just, it was engaging. I was, I, I really enjoyed the story. It was a really excellently written storyline. It was executed fantastically. Fantastically probably isn't a word, is it? The acting was excellent. Everyone settled in their roles very well. The effects were phenomenal. And we get some nice shots of the locations and along with the action scenes. The action scenes are fantastic, but we also get some great visuals with nice colours and all, which I really like. If there's one thing to praise about the Power Rangers franchise is character development. And character development is very important for a superhero style TV show. With the MCU, there's so many different characters. And since they're having TV shows, I think TV shows is an excellent way and possibly the best way for the MCU to go. Why? There's so many characters. And with a TV series, since you have episodes and the episodes are much longer than 20 minutes, it can allow the characters to be more fleshed out, a bit more three-dimensional, and everyone feels, you know, no one feels out of place. You feel everyone has time to shine, which is an excellent thing to appreciate. I definitely think Marvel Cinematic Universe should go that way, which they are, because I believe their next show is Loki. They really need to go this way. I think TV series is the best way for them to go. Let's talk about the characters. I absolutely loved Sam in this series. I really like his journey and seeing his legacy continue was absolutely excellent. We see him take on new responsibilities and I was really interested in his character arc throughout the story. And what he gains in the final episode really felt earned. Book was also pretty good. He was interesting as well. And he was a good sidekick to Sam and their dynamic was really strong too. It was also very interesting seeing Zemo from Captain America Civil War return and his character was very good as well. I don't have a lot to say about him, but I genuinely thought it was really interesting seeing him return. However, the character John Walker was just okay to me. I don't know, but his character just didn't stick with me like with Sam and Buck, and he felt a little unlikable to me at times. Not a terribly written character, and he could be a lot worse, but just something about him felt off, and I just can't quite put my finger on it. Not bad by any means, just very weak in my opinion. So I've talked about a few characters. What about the other characters? They are good, but I felt at times some characters were a little lackluster. Not bad characters by any means. I just felt some characters felt a little... They didn't quite get as developed as they should have and could have been fleshed out a little more. 
But other than that, I thought the characters were really strong. The music score was phenomenal. And overall, I really, really love this show. Overall, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is an excellent TV series with excellent story and characters and some pretty good special effects. I'm going to give The Falcon and the Winter Soldier a 9 out of 10. Stay tuned for my next review. Until then, guys, skadoosh everyone and take care.